Yeah, I was we, thinking that rainy season may impede. No, no. We, okay. we, when we walk, we just like Julian Vega. When it's rain, when it's rain, the sun, we, we walk to ensure we deliver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't extend project for a very long time. As far as the fund, the money is there, we, we keep walking. Mm -hmm. it's, it's raining. When it's raining, we know what to do when it's raining. If there's sunshine, we know what to do when the sun is shining. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, he, they impressed me today. I mean, they said, I mean, he was pouring now. This when guy's got the umbrella. They got the end They were, yeah, they were walking when he was pouring now. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. you were here. Yeah, they were walking. <laughs> Academy. Okay, so today we are in uh, Ikot. Edem 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 taking measurements and then uh, have intention of setting up a 50,000 uh, capacity fish farm here in the, in this place. So sir, you've been following us on our channel. I, what actually, uh, why do you really want to uh, venture into the uh, uh, fish farm business? Yeah, so um, I reside in the US and I'm as I was getting close to retiring, I kind of thought, what should I do to help my people in the village? Um, I started thinking about maybe going to cassava production or good production. Then I stumbled into First, um, Fish Academy. First Fish Academy, uh, a video on YouTube. I was so impressed. I mean, I was overwhelmed. And I started following him. I've been following this guy over six months now. I saw the work he did in Anambra, Oweri, Enugu, and the one in Ghana blew me away. I said, that's my man. And when I found out that he is from, actually from Akwaibum State, Akwaibum Indigen, I was so proud of him. So watching, and I started researching about fish farming in Nigeria. Nigerians eat fish more than anything else. So I said, what, what better business to do? And in this area of Akwaibom State, we, shall, we are very close to the Atlantic Ocean. Fish is a stable meat, more than good, yes. more than beef. Yes. So I said, well, this guy has helped other people in other states in other countries. He's going to be able to help me achieve this. All right, yeah, so um, I'm committed, I'm willing, you know, I've been doing it so many places, just as you said, but we've not done it here. Right. In fact, they say charity begins at home. Right? <laughs> yeah, so I believe it's going to be the first one and the first of its kind in Akwai you know, State, and then after which I believe every other people will have interest in developing Akwai State, because... I wish uh, that Akwai Bum Indigenous Diaspora and anywhere across should try to at least set up something in Akwaibom State in order to create job for Akwaibom youths exactly. that are on the street. So I believe other people will join hand with you to create jobs here in the state. And then uh, I believe these are your brothers. And these I are my brothers. <laughs> uh, that is my immediate, that is Odoi Kame, yeah. immediate brother, and yeah. followed by this one, Ime. Yeah. He is the one who is a resident in the village. Yeah, yeah. He takes care of the village for us while we are out. And I, Ime is the next one who lives in Uyu, Uyu. Okay. who takes care of my things in Uyu. Okay. And that is an officer in the, in the, in the family. He's a, he resides in Uyu too. He also kind of part of the task force. So, okay. yeah. All right, so there, there is no problem. Uh, uh, we're going to do more of, uh, of when the project starts, you know, personally, I believe I am I mean, I do practical a lot. So yeah, when the project yeah. starts, it's uh, not the theoretical part right now. 
for the project starts, certainly every one of us we are going to be seeing how the project will be going on, just as you've been seeing other projects that uh, we've been setting up. Uh, as I speak, we have ongoing projects going on various places, like we have one in Ghana, which we are going to deliver in the next two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, that is the second one. That is the second one. Yeah, that is the second one. one. So, uh, we, we are committed to working with you and to ensuring that you achieve success in what you want to do. Because it's not just about constructing the farm. As you have said, fish, fish is a scale commodity in the area. Yeah, and then it's being used for so many things, not just yeah. for human consumption, it's also used for animal feed production. Exactly. That's why fish is scarce. You need fish for protein. For animal to grow, you need protein. And then fish contain about 72% of good protein. Good protein here. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. fish is... Um, and in, in Nigeria, there is no pot. As far as you are cooking soup, yes. there is no pot of soup that you can see. Fish. Either, you see fish. either you see fresh or you see dry, you see dry. or at times you see both. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. If you don't have fish, then it's not soup. Yeah, it's not soup. The good thing with the nutritional value of fish is that low in cholesterol, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just so good, low in fat content. Yeah. So if you eat pork or beef, you know, the fat is what is going to, but fish is really the best thing. So. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to get into this. You know, I know I, I've seen you now, I trust you that you know, you're going to take us there with flying colors. Sure, sure, I will. Thank you. All right. So, no problem. Nice meeting you once again, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No problem. You're welcome. So, we'll, we'll, Thank be, you. we'll be frequenting the village until we. Yeah. All right, sir.